Yo right everyone, how's it going and welcome back to Fallout 4. Last time we wandered through the city to get into this location where Nick Valentine is, is stashed away deep within. Uh, on the way we encountered a big super mutant behemoth called Swan which killed us post haste the first time but then fell to our mini nuke in one hit. Which I'm not even sure would have made much of a difference uh, with the four times damage. Mini nukes are insanely powerful. Uh, but either way, we killed him, we got his loot, and most of it was worthless. But it doesn't matter, we had a good time in the process. So we're gonna go into this here Park Street Station. I'm thinking more, maybe a more prudent weapon choice could be in order. I'm thinking Righteous Authority, because we've got a hell of a lot of ammo for Righteous Authority, and we can be right sneaky about it while we do it. We can't actually, because uh, they'd be alerted as soon as we fired a single shot, but that's what we're interested in, because we are combat we are not stealth at this point in time. So let's charge on in and see what we find. No need to really slow down too much, but if we hear voices, it might be better to get the jump on them. Shh. Oh shit, they're on us. They are on to us already. And we are uh, we are under heavy fire, so Granata got one of them. And then we brought down this fella as well. So let's charge on into here. And uh, dog meat seems to be somewhat managing to handle something over there anyway maybe he might be down oh he's down he's been taken by the he's been taken by the trigger men which is a sad sad day indeed oh he's taking cheeky shots at me would have called that a hit like would have called that a hit as well okay okay i'm thinking we do what we do best we're taking damage we're taking hits let's pop a stim pack and then just over the top, lads! Bam! Blew him right away, the poor guy. Bish, bash, bosh. Dog meat, are you okay? You will be soon enough. Ball cap, 10 mil. A carrot, we might as well take the carrot, you never know. And let's uh, quickly scout out the upper floors for uh, loot, because the trigger men, if they do wind up coming up, will take a fair wee while. No sense in using the terminal to open that door. We can just bust open the no novice lock. <gasps> but what's this? An expert safe. But thankfully we can crack expert locks as well. So let's just quickly do that. Ah, shit. Close one. Close one. Oh. And bam. There we go. What's in here? Get pre-war money. 10 millimeter auto pistol. Auto pistol, which is pretty fun, but we're not going to use that. 308, 38 and 10 mil. And a silver tablespoon. Might as well take that for the silver. Ball cap. We could take a grey knit cap, we could wear it, let's wear the grey knit cap and see what it looks like. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Grey knit cap, lovely. Oh, we look like a true survivor now, I'm thinking stick with that. Because the helmet was offering us minimal, in the m minimal difference in terms of damage resistance. To purify water, actually useful, seeing as we need to drink and eat. And we're good, okie dokie. Come on dog meat, let's head deeper. TV dinner tray before we go, bit of aluminium. Aluminium, not aluminum. Aluminium. That's right. What are you gonna do? Okay. So we've healed up. We're gonna move deeper in with our submachine gun because the submachine gun is actually a fair decent weapon. Uh, hosing down foes. It's a shame it gets through ammo so quickly. We probably won't gain as much ammo as we lose. But I seem to be going in the. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, let's throw a. Molotov. Did that work? We got him. Nice. Got him with the initial concussive force of the explosion. So we can take cover behind this here little nuker cooler machine as we handle the guys over in this direction. Dog meat seems to be... Dog meat's just standing there, as always. Well, let's, uh, let's quickly switch back to our hardened sniper rifle so that we can just get a bit of precision. Oh, you, you would have thought. Oh, it's not looking good. We hit him in the belly. He's dead. Good. And then we can return fire with our sniper. Oh fuck! Quickly! Bam! Killed him. Got a level up in the process. Not bad. We have reached level 12. Excellent! Let's maybe switch over to the port automatic pipe rifle just because it's a little bit more uh... Well, we're not in very tight tight conditions right now so we don't really need to use the uh, submachine gun. But let's quickly pop a level up. Right, what are we gonna get this time? Uh, I would get toughness, but it can kind of ruin the ruin the frantic feel of things because it can make a huge difference. Maybe just the second rank of stealth. It's not very interesting, I know, but but it's better than nothing. Um, 
yeah, I'm thinking just the second rank of stealth. Uh, not very spectacular, but it'll just be a little bit more useful. Just not being getting not not getting spotted. An aluminum can. I said it myself. God damn it! I've just compromised all of my views. Aluminium can. We said it first. Aluminum. I mean, I don't I don't actually care at all if it's uh, alum aluminum or aluminium. Both uh, both are nice sounding words. Can we sleep? We can't sleep because we're taking health damage. What's wrong with us? We are thirsty again. Okay, well, good thing we picked up that purified water. I'll take two just to make sure that our thirst is quenched properly. Charge down here. Is there anything on the left? Okay, we're good. We're good for now. We've not got any. We've not alerted any hostiles to our location, so we can take this here Nuka Cola Quantum. We can amble around the outside as well. Not bad. Not bad. What's in here? Now, there will be more foes, so I'm thinking, let them know! Kaboom! I didn't get any of them. That was a shocker. This new, uh, this new barrel has made all of the difference in this, uh, in this automatic pipe rifle. Because now we can fire it without the, uh, without the weapon climbing up to the sky every time we pull the trigger. We are actually getting a fair bit of, uh, fair bit of submachine gun ammo, so that's quite useful. But at any rate... We move towards here, Vault 114, who expected to see that in an underground sort of area thing? Shocker! I know I was shocked the first time, I was like, well I did not expect it to be a vault, that's for sure. But it was, so there you go. We've gained access. Interestingly, if you're in power armour and you try and activate one of these things, it just does it anyway, you don't have to plug it in or anything like that. It'll go through the little animation, but without your character interacting with it, like the top will flip up, uh, the, then the button like presses on its own. It's quite strange. I mean, it's not really strange, but it's just a little quirk. Scanning with the scanning with the rifle doesn't really reveal anybody yet, but that doesn't mean that there isn't going to be anyone coming up soon. Is that you, skinny, skinny, and Darla are dead? And now you are too. Jesus, he just got brought down. That was brutal, poor trigger man. He is thusly dead. He dropped his submachine gun, but we won't be taking that. And then here's Louis the Sh Louis the Shin, or whatever they call him, and we bayoneted his head clean off. He didn't stand a chance. That was a shame. I mean, to be fair, he was armed with a baseball bat. I think now is the time for the submachine gun, because we can just hose a bit more with it. We'll move further into Vault 114. I mean, this isn't actually further in, but we can grab a 114 jumpsuit. Which is good to have. A preserved cigarette pack. They can be sold for more. And some Radaway and some Medex. Again, can be sold. Keep the Radaway though, because Radaway is useful. Uh, right, so let's move into the vault properly this thing. The actual way that you move into the vault. And we head in this direction. Is that another aluminium can? Not bad. Not bad at all. So let's get, get down low, just in case. Why the hell? Why the hell would anybody build a vault out of a subway station? It's a good question. And we can just, boom, get both of those guys in one fell swoop. We'll wait for our, uh, wait for our flames to dissipate. Look at our charred corpses. That is violent. And we quickly, like, oh, ah, oh, ah, we grab all their stuff off of them. Thankfully, we didn't get any third degree burns on our hands. Never knew if third degree is the worst kind of burn. Or if first degree is the worst kind of burn. It's just something I've always wondered, but I've never known. It's the order that the burn scale goes in. Got some... Oh, that didn't kill him. Jesus, he was resilient. Oh my word. Okay, let's get behind cover and uh, reevaluate what's going on here. I'm thinking the... Oh, no, not the ported hardened sniper rifle. The quick calibrated pipe rifle. Might be our best choice. Yeah, there we go. Getting some stable damage going. Oh fuck, we're taking taking stuff. We can make use of our uh, less damage while we're sprinting. Perk, can't remember what it's called. Moving target, maybe. It's entirely possible. He was a chubby. I feel bad for. It. Oh, we're gonna die. This isn't looking good. This isn't looking good. We've got the automatic pipe rifle at the ready. Ah, oh, he got us. He got us. I expected him to be closer than he was. How unfortunate. That's a shame. That was exciting. We were in that shut your face phone, honestly. Ah, oh, it keeps just badooping. And I cannot be handling that. Oh, good God. We're so far back. Alright, I'll see you in a second when we're in the vault.
Okay, okay, so we're just off the uh, entryway to the vault and we are moving back in. Thusly, we'll be coming up with the two guys on the left here. Just in a second. And rather than Molotov them this time, I think let's give them a fair chance. Oh, shit. Bayonet. Brutal. Right in the bell eye. That's not what you need. Okay, okay. Right, let's move in further. Pop another stim back just quickly. And uh, we'll quick save as well. Uh, gonna get this sniper rifle out for this next segment, see if we can't get a couple of cheeky kills off the side. I can probably drop this guy at the very least. Yep, one down. We can maybe get another one if they choose to- Oh, you jammy bastard. Last second. You just won the lottery, pal. And there's another one. Let's see if we can't just- Oh, through the thread the needle. Not bad. And let's move in for the other two. There's no sense in, uh, no sense in any of that. Don't need to just be cheesing every enemy, but it means that we do get slightly more ammo, I think. Whoa, hello! He didn't stand a chance. That was a shame. I kind of feel bad for that guy, but at the same time, I really don't, because he was the one who decided to charge in with a baseball bat, as opposed to utilising one of the fairly useful submachine guns that uh, they so love normally. We seem to be, we seem to have been, we seem to have been hitting what arm, but all is well because we can just stim pack it back again. Simple as that. Let's just ignore our pain. We're addicted to something. Couldn't tell you what though. I mean, maybe just thirsty. We are. We're very thirsty. Let's take. Oh, we haven't had the purify water in this game. There you go. And now we've got to drop into this here hole in the ground. But first, we can see what stuff's lying about. A bit of pre-war money, a bit of whiskey. Uh, some various food items that we're not going to bother taking. We've got plenty of food right now. Duct tape. We've got bobby pins. Always always useful. I mean, to be fair, after your first box, that's probably all you'll need for the entire game. But, uh, yeah. A light bulb. Also useful. And then we can just plop down further into the... Oh, oh Jesus! Get him! Thank God. That was close. That was close. We were taking a fair bit of damage there. Or were we? More body, uh, bobby pins, a vault tech terminal. I think basically this vault was, uh, uh, it was like a show vault or something like that. But for whatever reason, it didn't get filled up. They were looking for an overseer. And uh, what they were looking for was just the most batshit overseer they could find. But for whatever reason, it never got uh, never got populated before the, before the bombs hit. And so these trigger men moved in and it was effectively just a show vault that wasn't finished yet. But that's entirely possible that that was what was wrong with it. It just simply wasn't finished. But there is one target standing at the top of a very significant distance so we can just ventilate him like that. Uh, Nick Valentine is still chatting away to this mystery, mystery shopper that we just killed heartlessly. So let's, uh, let's go over and give him the power. What was he holding? The Overseer door password in some 45. Hello! Hello, sir! Let's just let you, let's let you loose and free. We've taken our number, it's number 998. So let's just override the door controls. What's happening? Did that work? Okay, it did. Hello, Nick. But before we talk to him, speech bubblehead. All vendors permanently have 100 more caps for a bargain. Look at her. Just chatting away. She's looking sassy. Bless. Yes, these are like uh, little holotapes that are uh, interviews for the overseer position. Uh, two of them are really good candidates, what you'd think would be really good candidates, but they get refused. And then the third one's like a homeless guy who just chatters about nonsense. And he's like, oh, well, well, right, yeah, but we'll get back to you post haste. And it's like, what? But either way, we found this here detective, but he isn't a person detective. He's a synth detective. Look at him. He's looking all coy over the shoulder with his cigarette in his hand. He does. How does he have, how does he have lungs? How does he inhale if he's a synth? Doesn't make sense to me, but I'm not one to question Nick Valentine. Nick Valentine knows. Nick Valentine is a good character because he is a robot noir detective and what more could you possibly want? I'm going to take a brief opportunity to unlock this novice toolbox more for the experience than anything else, but we've got duct tape, toothpaste as well. Not going to bother with the wrench of the scissors because they're practically worthless. More duct tape. Uh, yeah, this vault is a fairly decent source of adhesive actually because there's like construction going on. You find a uh, wonder glue in some places as well. Pause for a brief drink from the fountain. Mmm, fresh water. And then move further in. Let's get into sneaky mode. I hear some of them. He hears some of them up ahead. So we could feasibly sneak past them. 
I'm thinking what we do is wait for them to come through and then drop them because that's the easiest way of dealing with three enemies. Oh, dodgy. Okay, so charge, do what we do best over the top and fucking bayonet and then we blew them away. Lovely. 10mm compensated advanced 10mm pistol. That's probably actually quite a good gun, but I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, boat cap 10mm, another bobby pin, a muzzled powerful 10mm pistol this time, but we don't need any of that. What we do need is to just move up, because we have killed all the enemies so far, so we have no reason to hang around. Uh, this is this is something that's quite cool about uh, Nick is that he uses his little metal hand as like lock picks. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, at least it looks like that's what he's doing. He could just be like clipping through the object, but th like in my mind, he uses his hand as a lock pick, and that is probably one of the coolest things ever. If I lost an arm, I would want it replaced by a set of lock picks. If I got a prosthetic, I'd want it to look like a cool Terminator arm. I wouldn't be ashamed. That'd be badass. That'd be such a talking point at parties. Uh, there's an astoundingly awesome Tails here, we gain plus 5 action points, that's pretty useful, can't really complain. I think I would go for a, like a Terminator style metal hand, but there is always the other eternal option and that is rubber tentacle. Like autonomous rubber tentacle, with like a little like motor in it that causes it to like flop around of its own accord that you can turn on. Or you can use it like, you can curl it to pick things up. That would be hilarious. That would be such a novelty. I would cherish my tentacle arm forevermore. Uh, three whiskey in here. Always useful. So uh, mark my words. If I lose an arm, I will become tentacle man. And you'll see me in all the papers. Nick Valentine struggling to handle the guy with the baseball bat, but we mowed him down with our ad hoc submachine gun that we knocked together out of wooden bits of pipe. It's going well though. Whoa, he is returning fire, thinks he's something fresh, but in fact he wasn't, he's a knob. Uh, so that was him thusly silenced. A noodle cup, mate, that's worth 45 caps. We've, we've, we've lucked out, we're in the money here. This is the crib. Welcome to, welcome to cribs. That's what they call this room. Uh, it's got the cribs, that's all that you really need to know. There's also the depot that we can unlock with an advanced lock. I normally just sprint right through here, which is what I've been doing, but I don't think I've ever... Oh, there's just a couple of caps stashed for whatever reason, some pre-war money, and a tuxedo. Always a pleasure. Mr. Bond. So let's move on. We've got uh, Nick Valentine in the front, taking the, taking the foreground because he's uh, better at sponging bullets than we are, being a robot. Uh, a lot of whiskey from here. Whiskey is actually worth picking up because you can either sell it or you can use it in a couple of, I think a couple of chemistry crafting recipes. So it's pretty useful, it's pretty useful. You can't really complain on the, on the whiskey scale. It's decent stuff. Another locked door, surely we could just, how, like, uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. He's just interfacing with one of his brethren on the wall. But there's some, some shit going on over there apparently, so uh, let's be ready with a, with a decent weapon, I think, given the circumstances. And we go back out into Park Street Station. But when we step outside, oh dear, there's gangsters and they've come for Nick, he's like, wah, see? But we're not gonna fuck around with that. Simple as that. <laughs> Bish bash bosh. That was savage. Skinny Malone in a terrible state is anything but. Darla, poor Darla. We'll take her sequin dress. Sorry, Darla. And, uh, yeah, not bad. Maybe we can wear the sequin dress. Let's do it. Where is it? Sequin dress. Oh. Oh, wow. We are beautiful, but we're not gonna wear that right now gonna take that off we're gonna have the uh what, what were we wearing before right uh, yeah road le re road leathers don't need that metal chest piece we've got a better metal chest piece don't really need the suspenders and slacks either we'll keep the tuxedo although actually we'll never need the extra one we've got the sequin dress we don't need the tuxedo and we'll keep the keep everything all the other stuff but we're not going to use that missile launcher again that was just daft switch back to the automatic pipe rifle get out of third person view not bad it probably will be an awkward conversation with Darla's parents when you're like, my pal just literally blew her to smithereens. Well, no, no, didn't blow her to smithereens. Got her leg, though. Look at her wee horrid stump. Oh, poor, poor Darla. Ah, it would be an awkward conversation saying that. My friend 
He's, they call him Bear, Bear Chills. He came along, he, they were gonna kill me, but then he just fired a missile right into their midst and just blew them away post haste. Ah, simple as that. It's one way to resolve a problem anyway. But Nick seems to know exactly where he wants to go, so we might as well just follow him further because he's the guy, he's the man. He's the man in the know because he has a PI and if he wasn't in the know then he would be pretty shit at what he does, wouldn't you agree? But he goes out into the back bay and up we go as well behind him. Hopefully we don't get ambushed by the uh, uh, Germans. We might do, we might do though. Uh, although I doubt it. It's, it's not very likely because they, they, uh, there wouldn't be any. They, they, uh, they all died in the war that happened before the war that happened at the start of this game. I'm not actually sure when the nuclear war is meant to take place, like in terms of world history. I know it's like an alternate history, but I don't know what the year, the year is. Sorry, there's the yawn. It's here. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, I've been stocking that one up the last few episodes. Oh, anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure when the uh, the nuclear war was meant to take place uh, in terms of year. I think it's like the old 70s or something like that, but then like culture didn't advance or something. It's hard to, it's hard to follow sometimes. So Nick's grateful that we've freed him. He's like, yes, Ellie sent me. Uh -huh. He's like, oh, she's a doll. I'm like, oh, no. He's like, come back and I'll help you find your bear. And we're like, ah, oh, cheers, Nick. You're a good guy. And off he goes back into the wilderness. But uh, what we're going to do, rather than that, is head off to... My God, we are miles away. I was going to say head west, but we are not anywhere near there. Uh, how about we... 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 Yeah, I, th I think we're going to do Vault 88. So uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'll try I'll go back to Hangman's Alley because it's cleared and I'll head from there. But that is going to happen next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Yeah, I had a good time tracking down Nick Valentine in the vault. It was quite an adventure. It's, uh, oh god, there it is again. Oh. One of these days I'll just learn how to never yawn anymore and then all will be well. But yes, anyway... Uh, yeah, we had a good time tracking down Nick in the vault. Unless you didn't have a good time, in which case, please leave a comment saying why you didn't have a good time. And I will endeavour to ensure that you have a better time next time if you come back. But anyway, if you did enjoy, then please remember to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. All of them are appreciated. And I, well, I love, I love correspondence. So that would be, that would be just bonny of you. Anyway. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for your time, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.